Wisdom. The final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1492 of our trek, and it is time for our three-minute mini trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny which is titled... My job resume. Little Joey was over at his favorite Uncle Louie's apartment visiting for the afternoon and they were chatting as they often did. Now Uncle Louie wasn't noted for being able to hold down a job for very long and he always had some story to tell. That's probably why Little Joey liked visiting him so often. As Joey and Louie were chatting about adventures and going fishing, Joey looked at him and said, Mama says you can never keep a job Uncle Louie. Why is that? Uncle Louie agreed and stared off into the air a bit and said, Well, let me explain the reasons. My first job was working at an orange juice factory, but I got canned. I couldn't concentrate. Then I worked in the woods as a lumberjack, but I couldn't hack it, so they gave me the axe. After that, I tried to be a tailor, but I just wasn't suited for it, mainly because it was a so-so job. Next, I tried working in a muffler factory, but that was just too exhausting. Then I tried to be a barber, but I just couldn't cut it. Next, I tried to be a chef. I figured that would add a little spice to my life, but I just didn't have the time. Then I attempted to be a deli worker, but anyway, I sliced it. I just couldn't cut the mustard. My best job was being a musician, but eventually I found I wasn't noteworthy. Then I studied a long time to become a doctor, but I just didn't have any patience. Next job was in a shoe factory. I tried it, but I just didn't fit in. Then I became a professional fisherman, but I discovered that I just couldn't live on my net income. I did manage to get a good job working at a pool maintenance company, but the work was just too draining. After that, I got a job at the zoo feeding giraffes but I was fired because I just wasn't up to it. So then I got a job at the workout center, but they said that I just wasn't fit for the job. After many years of trying to find steady work, I finally got a job as a historian until I realized there was just no future in it. My last job was working at Starbucks, but I had to quit because it was always the same old grind. So then I retired and found out that I was perfect for that job. I hope that brought a smile to your face today. If it did, pass that smile on to someone else. We could all use a kind smile each day. And our Thursday thought is, success seems to be connected to action. Successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, but they never quit. And here's our verse for today, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11. Wealth from get-rich-quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. And just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,491 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Track Podcast and Journal each day. 
And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Futuristic Friday.